drum all the pictures together into a video. But it gives you a feel for what you can see on the video of the space station, or out the window. And he took the pictures out the bottom of the space station, out the cupola windows right here. So that's what the space station looks like. And what it really is, uh, each one of these is about as big as a school bus. So you get an idea of the size. And this is Canada's piece here. The big robot arm. We built the space station. Canada did. Our robot arm built the space station. And that's why our astronauts built. That's why our experiments are on board. Because we built it using the Canada arm. And it's a bunch of laboratories. Outside laboratories and inside laboratories. And so one of our main jobs as an astronaut is to run all the experiments. We run about 120 experiments at a time. 100, 120 experiments on board the space station at any given time. So here's Bob Thirst. He's a Canadian astronaut who's uh, been living on the space station. He was there a couple of years ago. And everything from how your body works to looking at the Earth's atmosphere to looking at energy from the universe to uh, how, a, how a candle burns without gravity. Because candles need the heat to rise. Without gravity, heat doesn't rise. So even a candle won't work right in space. So you have to think about all common physics and, and how it's all going to work. And we run experiments all around the space station. Of course, we have to train for all those experiments. And I'm flying in space next year. So uh, for the last several years, I've been training and getting ready for my flight for my launches next November. We're also going to have a package for you guys that are going to do, oh, I guess it'll be your younger students, the guys that are coming in next year for grade 6, and you guys that are in grade 8, when you get into grade 10, there's a program that we're going to use as part of my flight, where they build an avatar of me on the space station, you log in, you make your own avatar, and then for grade 6, you can build a whole living wall on the space station, and get in and look exactly how plants grow with the, uh, the processes and how they bring water up without gravity and photosynthesis. And for the students in grade 10, how rockets work, how the rocket engines work, and how you launch from Earth and find a space station to get there. So we do education stuff in the space station as well. But for me as an astronaut, I need to fly this rocket right here on my next flight. I'm the pilot. The commander is a guy in the middle. I'm the pilot. This is the three of us inside the station. Really jammed like you guys sitting there right next to each other. Uh, that's how close we are inside the station. And we train in a simulator over in Russia. Because this rocket ship is the Soyuz, it's built by the Russians. Our commander of the Soyuz is Roman Romanenko. I'm going to fly with Tom and Roman when I fly. So I spend about half my time in Russia. In Russia, we fly this spaceship uh, speaking Russian. We wear a pressure suit. Why do we wear a pressure suit? inside our spaceship. Why wouldn't we wear one inside? Of course, why what? Why the force? Oh, that's an interesting idea. That heavy force where I was standing all over his chest, it's not so heavy that it would crush you. So we don't need to protect ourselves from that. What do you think? No, no. Why do you wear a pressure suit? So you'll say safe, but against what? Why are you wearing a pressure suit? Right, as you go up in the altitude, the pressure outside gets lower and lower, right? That's why the people who climb the highest mountains need to breathe oxygen, because there's not much air. Well, inside a spaceship, we're normally okay, but if your spaceship springs a leak, then you die, because there wouldn't be any air. So we wear the suit to protect us in case the spaceship gets a leak, and all the air rushes out. We also have to learn how to work when you have really high forces on your body during launch and during landing. And so they spin us around and around and around. There's a spaceship inside there. It's a room about as big as this gymnasium. And it spins us around so that we get the high forces on our body. So we train in a centrifuge. We also might land anywhere on Earth. You could land in the Pacific Ocean. 